What's going on, Destiny lovers? Uh, this is a tour of the tower. This is where you're going to be, you know, talking with your friends, chilling, relaxing, all that good stuff. So right away, we're just going to jump right into it, guys. You see the lost items that I picked up, right? Two encrypted engrams, which are going to be your treasure chests for PvE, anything like that. And this is extremely important because uh, when you, like, let's say you're running around, you kill a monster, and you miss, like, this little green ball that it drops, which is the encrypted engram. And if you miss that, then it's no big deal, no problem. It'll basically come into your uh, inbox, as uh, to your mailbox. Boom, you pick it up, and then you take it to this guy right here. He's the decoder of your engrams. Uh, so these are the four engrams that I that he's going to give you no matter what, I believe. Yes, no, actually, these are mine. I'm sorry. So these are my engrams that I picked up through my PvE and PvP and stuff like that. Uh, you never know exactly what you're going to get. Um... It's basically, it just highlights like a general weapon, and then when you decrypt it, it's pretty much, I guess, like a, it's like a, a luck of the draw, really. You don't know what you're going to get. Hopefully, you get the best thing possible, um, but that's where you take, that's where you decode all of your uh, things that need to be decoded, your, en your encoded engrams, your encrypted engrams. Uh, this guy's the weaponsmith. Uh, you buy weapons from him. I'm pretty, like, his stock refreshes, as you can see underneath it, in two hours and six minutes. Which means uh, he'll eventually be get, he'll like be replenished with a new complete like fresh stock different weapons, um, and uh, yeah, so you can check it out. He's got some uh, heavy machine guns, pulse rifles, sniper rifles, auto rifles, fusion rifles, you know the whole shebang. So this video is pretty much going to just give you guys. So when you guys uh, have access to your beta or alpha, uh, then you guys will. Uh, know where to go and know where everything is so this is the bounty hunter uh the things with the swords right these are the these are crucible bounties so these are the pvp bounties um uh you want to pick these up pretty much immediately because you're going to uh you're going to want to get more uh, extra experience and uh other things like that um now vanguard bounty is going to be during the pve and stuff like that so if you aren't a pvp -er, you really don't want to you know compete against other people then you don't have to but also, as you can see, I try to get all six. You're only able to get five, so I believe there's a five maximum uh, for the bounty hunters. Also, if you ever feel like having a little dance party, all you have to do is get go to that little spot where I went, where I uh, jumped up to here. You can have a dance party with your friends, chill, um, and just the music the entire time, guys. It's so relaxing. It's so like I could. Like, I'm gonna give you tell you a little bit a little bit about myself. When I played Final Fantasy XI, uh, which was my first MMO ever, I played that for about like eight years. And the main zones where everyone used to chill, Lower Dueno, Ado Oregon, like I could sit there and listen to the music and just relax and talk to my friends for hours. And I, I really feel like I have that here. Um, I'll be able to chill, talk to you guys in my stream, uh, talk to my YouTubers, make videos, and just be you know relaxed and, and like this is just gonna be an epic adventure. I can't wait to keep playing. Um, so as you see, uh, you go down here. These are basically like your mentors. Uh, I'm pretty sure that eventually you're going to need to maybe do like uh, quests specific to your class. So the very first person was the warlock. You saw she's kind of wearing a robe. There's the hunter. He's kind of looking like, uh, you know, he's got that little cape on. Like he's a hero. He's ready to just, he's thin. He's ready to just go and destroy everybody. And then here's the titan vanguard. Uh, the titan, obviously thick, tanky. Uh, you can tell that he's supposed to be, you know, the guy who takes most of the damage in the PvP, as well as uh, the PvP, the PvE aspect of the game. Uh, very interesting. I like I said, you guys just get your bearings. So when you guys do have access uh, and you guys can play, you already guys are already a, a step ahead of most of the people who won't be watching these videos. Hopefully, you guys all will. Um, the vaults are where you can basically just store your armor, your weapons, uh, things like that. I just wanted to show you guys that. And then this is kind of like what the layout of uh, your character looks like when you're in the menu. So I picked up an 83 attack shotgun, and I end up like reaping havoc or wreaking havoc in the PvP with that shotgun and that assault rifle that I have. Um, and if you guys haven't seen the videos uh, for armor, the white armor is the least uh, tier armor. Then it goes green, then blue. I want yeah, then blue, then purple. Purple is like legendary. Purple is like legendary. If you get a purple. Poop yourself, freak out, make a YouTube video, call your mom, call your dad, call everybody, dude, because it's a big deal, and I haven't had, I haven't seen one yet. 
I'm all right, this is the tower hanger, guys. Uh, so this is where, this is actually a very important, if you guys are listening to this video and not just watching the epicness that is Destiny, uh, there is uh, a little bit further in like 30 seconds ahead, you guys are going to see, I'm going to talk to uh, the, I'm going to talk to the, uh, oh my goodness, uh, like the shopper, dude, of the uh, ships right here, the shipwright, Amanda Holiday. Uh, and you need to purchase, you can't see it right now, but you need to talk to her and purchase a new ship, it's free, and a new uh, speeder in order to do the Devil's Lair and the, and I think the Dark Within. It might just be the Devil's Lair. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just the Devil's Lair, but it's basically one of the main PvEs, uh, PV quests of the Alpha. Very important that you guys do that because you will not have access to it unless you talk to that shipwright and get your new ship. So, this is, I guess, like a cool, relaxing lounge area. I found absolutely no NPCs to talk to down here, uh, or anything of that matter. Uh, yeah, that was pretty ridiculous. But anyways, we're just gonna relax. I'll just let you guys chill, listen to the music as I travel all the way across the, uh, all the way across the tower to the other side. To finish off the video, there's basically just one place left that I have to show you. It's pretty. There's really nothing there except for potential speculation. Uh, so I'll just let you guys just enjoy the, the visuals. Hello, Guardian. All right, we're back. Lady drinking a cup of coffee. Like, she doesn't need to be drinking a cup of coffee, but they put a cup of coffee there anyways. Okay, this is something that has not been explained uh, at all. And I can't wait for them to tell us more. This is Voice of the Traveler, the speaker. I have no idea who this guy is. Look at that, Mode of the Light, 0 out of 10. I've PvP'd, I've PvE'd, I have no idea what that is. But there's, it's, uh, they're prone to certain classes, Warlock class, uh, Titan class, Hunter class. Oh, you can get emblems with Mode of Lights. I just don't know what they are. Um, and that mechanism right behind this guy i feel like that's some sort of maybe time travel machine or a machine that like teleports you to another universe or another galaxy or maybe a machine that teleports you or just like shoots your um your ship into space and it might be some sort of it might be some sort of airship combat pvp kind of like they introduced in star wars i have no idea uh but let me know what you guys think about that i would love to hear you guys opinions uh, as I chill and dance here with this blue guy. All right, I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. Thumbs up, man, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.